In this video, we'll do some problems where we translate English sentences into propositional logic, and then we'll do a problem about identifying statements. So, first question, we have some f statements and we have to translate the following sentences. So P is I finished writing my computer program before lunch. Q, I shall play tennis in the afternoon. R, the sun is shining. And S, the humidity is low. So, first sentence, if the sun is shining, I shall play tennis this afternoon. So we have two statements, the sun, is, the sun is shining, and we have, I shall play tennis this afternoon. And this is an if statement, so this means if the sun is shining, so if R, then, I'll do this in purple, I shall play tennis this afternoon, which is Q. So R arrow Q. Second sentence, finishing the writing of my computer program before lunch, is necessary for my playing tennis this afternoon. So we have two statements, finishing the writing of my computer program before lunch, and we have playing tennis this afternoon, and we have this connective is necessary for. So is necessary for, this means is if I have P is necessary for Q, this is the same as saying Q arrow P. So if playing tennis this afternoon is Q and finishing the writing of my computer program is P and I'm saying P is necessary for Q, this means that the result is going to be Q arrow P. That's how we translate the second sentence. In the third sentence, we have low humidity and sunshine are sufficient for me to play tennis this afternoon. So we have low humidity, we have sunshine, and we have uh, me to play tennis this afternoon. Then we also have some connectives here. We have this and, and then we have our sufficient for. So sufficiency is the opposite way. So if we have P is sufficient for Q, that is saying the same thing as P arrow Q. So we can keep the order here. So we have low humidity, which is S. We have our connective and. Then we have sunshine, which is R. And these are sufficient, so we can say that's going to be the arrow. For me to play tennis this afternoon, which is Q. So our end result is S and R, arrow Q. Okay, so that is translating propositional uh, logic from sentences. Okay, so uh, the most difficult conditions are usually as necessary and sufficient, so that's why I chose this one, because people get those confused all the time. So hopefully these examples set those straight for an exam, because those can be pretty rough questions. Okay, second uh, question two. You just have to determine which is a statement, so this should be uh, pretty straightforward. Some profs like to put these on exams to say, hey, did you pay attention to the first lecture when I was going over the basics? Because these are one of those things that just seems so obvious that nobody ever studies. But there's usually one of these questions that they get wrong here. So, one, in 1999, Barack Obama released a K-pop album. Is this a statement? The answer is yes, it is a statement. It is probably incorrect, but it is a statement because it has a truth, val val a truth value. It is either true or it is false. Therefore, it is a statement. Question two, 17y plus 20x is an integer. Is this a statement? Uh, the answer is no. It's not a statement because y and x are variables. So this is of the form p, x, y, while this first is of the form p. And these variables here, it is not a statement if it has a variable in it. So uh, number two is usually what tricks people up. Three, tell me the time. Is that a statement? Uh, no, this is a command. So it doesn't even have a representation in propositional logic, unless it's a statement like, I want you to tell me the time, because that is a statement. If I said, I want you to tell me the time, because that can be true or false. But tell me the time 
Uh, it cannot be either true or false. It is a command. Okay, four. I can't live without you. That is indeed a statement because it can be either true or false. So that takes the form P. And is it true or not? Who knows? Maybe some people think it is true. Maybe some people think it's false. But the fact is that it can be exactly one of those things. So those were the two questions. If you have any more questions that you want solved, leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions about these questions, please leave those there as well. And I'll answer you as soon as I possibly can.